At Australian UAV, we use these small, unmanned aerial vehicles, more commonly referred to as drones, to capture incredibly high-resolution, on-demand aerial mapping and aerial survey data. So today we're going to take a look at one of the sites that we've captured recently, which is the Lilydale Quarry down in Victoria. Zooming in on the site, we can see our capture region in the center here in the brighter colors, and that's been overlaid on top of uh, default satellite imagery, which is the sort of thing that you're probably familiar with from Google Maps or Microsoft Bing. And that's typically the highest quality aerial data that people would commonly have access to. If we turn on and off the drone imagery, uh, you can see that it lines up perfectly well with the satellite imagery underneath. <clears throat> but if we were to zoom in on the satellite data now, uh, you'll start to see where the differences are. So on the satellite image here, we can make out the building and see a water tank in front of it, but uh, not a lot more than that. It's a low resolution, blurry, uh, vague sort of image. So not the sort of thing that we want to be taking measurements off or using as a basis for managing the site. In contrast, if we load in the drone data, uh, it suddenly jumps out as uh, having much more resolution. I can zoom in right to the level of uh, seeing the details on this truck up here and uh, look around the corner to this uh, storage yard. We can see each individual object, uh, once that data is loaded in, uh, we can see each individual object uh, kept in that storage yard. So it really is a completely different level of quality of uh, aerial imagery than what you are probably familiar with. And aside from just that qualitative difference, um, it's also a difference in, in the, the methodology and, and what we can produce out of this image. So it's, it's not just a 2D map in a traditional sense, but a full 3D data set that we capture when we fly overhead. So we're effectively digitizing the entire site uh, when we capture it. And so obviously that's a, a very powerful thing. Um, you can uh, run all sorts of analysis on that data um, over time once you've got it fully captured inside the computer. So just within this uh, online viewer here, I can measure distances and areas and things like that. I'll just quickly measure the slope of uh, this road there, 15.8%, and I'll uh, pop up and measure this stockpile in the foreground just by uh, defining the perimeter of it. So using the cut and fill tool here, I'll just mark around the perimeter of this stockpile. And it shows us that there's a little over 20,000 cubic meters of material in that stockpile. So these area definitions can be saved and rerun over time uh, to do your um, change detection and uh, end of month reporting. And um, yeah, just having the entire site digitized in the computer just allows you to run all sorts of analysis, um, you know, remaining uh, material volumes and, and such. Um, water runoff and line of sight between transmitters and just anything you can think of that would require high uh, resolution 3D data. And so as well as um, being quite accessible in this uh, online viewer here from Propeller, um, all of this data can be exported into traditional GIS software for further analysis and exporting things like contours and break lines and uh, into other formats such as uh, DSMs and, and DTMs like this that you might be familiar with. And aside from the, the data and the quality of the data, the other thing to talk about is its accessibility. So for a small site such as this one, uh, we'd probably be on site for around about an hour and then there'd be a few hours of uh, data uploading and processing to be done on the end of that. But uh, typically, you'd, you'd have your data within 24, 48 hours of us uh, arriving on site and at a fraction of the cost of uh, a manned aerial survey, which is uh, the only other way of achieving this uh, level of uh, quality. Um, the other thing that, uh, to mention relative to aerial uh, manned aerial survey is that we're far less uh, affected by cloud cover. So um, on, a, on a full overcast day, we can still capture the site um, so we're typically flying at about 100 meters above ground. So um, yeah, it's much more 
uh, reliable to do uh, your end of month um, analysis and reporting this way, uh, given that um, there's, there's a better chance of us being able to, to fly the site on, on any given day. So that's uh, the data and, and uh, talking a little bit about the flexibility and, and accessibility of it. And um, we'd love to hear from you. You can find us online. Uh, we are Australian UAV at www.auav.com.au or give us a call on 1300 738 521 or shoot us an email at contact at auav.com.au. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon.